five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good morning. Wow. Hey, it is super good to be back here. Hi, I'm Jane. And this is the PB&J Influence Channel where I'm going to answer one question today from this book right here. Um, how have you been? You know, I've been gone for a couple of weeks. And so I thought I'd just explain real quick where I've been. I've been to San Diego. I've driven back to Texas. I do this every morning um, at 818 Central Standard Time. Uh, that's Texas time, y'all. I try to do it every morning. That's Monday through Friday. And that is if I can. And I have not for the last two weeks. And it was kind of rough because every day hanging over my head, I'm thinking, oh, I should be doing this. But I just didn't. Um, there was just too much going on. I was traveling across the country, back and forth, and most of it in a car, and got to drive this amazingly huge 150-pound Newfoundland dog who looks like a bear, which is what I call him, even though that's not his name. He's right over there. <laughs> I am now his mother, which is cool. So I basically uh, became a mother over Thanksgiving. Yes, I now am a, uh, a Newfoundland dog owner. Hey, check this out. Okay. And look at this background, right? Is this trippy? These are actually mirrors back here. It's a pretty cool effect. Um, and so uh, there's been a lot going on. Um, I should have become a grandmother already for the second time, but that hasn't happened yet. The baby is taking his sweet time. So I'll let you know when that happens. And um, if you even care, and then also somebody that usually pops on. If if you're here live, you have the opportunity to pop on live with me in the chat box and talk to me through the chat box. And um, I usually have a little crowd of people that um, does that with me. As a matter of fact, somebody's there right now. Good morning. And um, but um, one of my friends who always pops on. I just found out a couple of days ago had a massive heart attack. And if you're on here and you, you're, you'll be familiar with him, it's Kent. He's pretty vocal on, on this. And um, he's from Ohio, went to high school with him and he's still alive, but barely hanging on an ICU. It was a massive, massive heart attack. And so um, I'm kind of bumming about that. I just found that out late last night. And it's, I don't know. It's just sad. It's just sad. So um, what I wanted to say was with the holidays and everything and Thanksgiving, and I know a lot of us have a hard time during the holidays um, for many, many reasons. Hold on. I've got something popping up in my box here. <laughs> Hi, you like it? <laughs> Yeah, it is a nice house, right? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. How are you? Why are you coming up with my name in my chat box? You can't do that. How is that? That's weird. Anyway, you guys. So um, what I wanted to say was life is flipping short. Take advantage of it. And I know that during the holidays, this hits some of us harder than others for various reasons. Um, we have a hard time during the holidays. I know that um, I have, like for the past eight years, had really gnarly Christmases for a couple of reasons, which were pretty darn valid. And, um, and this year, I am super stoked because my life has done a one, it, what is it, 80? I don't even know the right numbers. 360, 180. Yes, my life has done a 180 turnaround and I will no longer be having my Christmases alone and I could not be happier. Happy is like an understatement, right, baby? <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, so here's to everyone. <laughs> you're having a rough rough Christmas, rough holiday season coming into it, just hang in there, hang in there, breathe, because on December 26th, and this is what, you know, starting from Thanksgiving until December 26th, I always had a super hard time. Um, always, not my whole life, just like in the last eight years. And 
the best part about it is if you can hang on December 26th is a brand new day. And it's like a magical day because Christmas and basically the whole holiday season is over. I don't really, New Year's to me doesn't seem as impactful as the whole Christmas Thanksgiving thing is, right? So I'm just really encouraging you to hang in there, hang in there, okay? You can make it. And you never know when your life is going to change, when it's going to turn around completely. You just have no idea. So don't give up, okay? All right, so today's question, I'm gonna answer this question from this book. Let's see, wait a minute. Uh I'm super trying, yeah, yeah. We're all stoked about Christmas, woo! Anyway, um, this book, I'm gonna answer a question like I do every time that I come on here. And um, these are the lamest um, journal questions I've ever come across in my life, but Lenny, God bless you. My cousin Lenny gave me this book and um, I answer the questions from this book because It gives us something to answer. And while they are lame questions, on the other hand, they also don't make us go too terribly deep so that we flip out and fall to pieces. So today's question, normally I don't know the question, but today I read it ahead of time. I read it like five minutes ago. So it's not like I had time to do research on it. I did not. And the question for December 2nd, happy December 2nd, everyone. Like, can you believe it's December 2nd? I cannot, not, not, not. Um, The question is, where do you go for answers? And I have a couple of answers to that question. Um, It depends on really how deep the question is that I need to have an answer to. And a lot of times I go, to Google, and I'm sure you all do too. And that's not extremely profound. And a lot of times I go to YouTube, which by the way, Google owns YouTube, and those are the two largest search engines on the planet. So probably a good place to go for answers, I would say, right? Mm. Delish. Now, my deeper, and this is like why we do this, right? This is why I do these stupid questions every day so that we can not just answer questions like that, but to drop down and answer a question a little bit deeper from here. I know, right? Tough stuff. But this is an easy question like most of the questions are in this dumb book. So the question is, where do you go for answers? Think about it. I don't know. Do you go to church? Do you go to like, you know, religious leaders? Do you go to gurus? Do you go to, um, I don't know, authorities in whatever matter, right? The authority, whoever is the top dog in that topic that you're thinking of that you have a question about, which is so cool now about Google because you could actually go to that source, right? And find out the answer. You can get multiple answers if you want. But at the end of the day, when you are hit with life's hard questions, where do you go for answers? And for me, um, now, now, I didn't used to do this, but now I go in and I used to go out seeking for the answers, just like, you know, like look in your Bible if you're religious or, you know, talk to somebody or get go to a counselor, right? All these different places that you can go outside of you for answers. But when they're really deep questions pertaining to you and the meaning of life or what matters to you and what is your reality, what is your truth, what do you want it to be? Where are the answers for that? You don't have to do. You Parents, parents are taught, a lot of people go to their parents for answers and advice, right? You don't have to do that. You know why? Although your parents could be a good source, they could also not be a good source for answers. Um, the answers are right here. You need to go in to you and tap in to whatever you're connected to. 
Maybe it's nothing. Maybe all you're doing is connecting to here and that's it. And that's fine. But that's where the answers are. Your answers and your answers are not going to be my answers. How do you like that? And we're so used to being so cookie cutter, like my answers have to match that person's answers and that person over there so that I fit in and that I don't look weird because I've got this whole different set of answers for me than those people do for them. And then that makes me an outcast. And then suddenly I'm outside of the tribe ah, and I'm not accepted. Think about all of that. It's all about being like a level of acceptance and fitting in. But when you go in for the answers, you start to find out who you are and what matters for you because this is your life. And that's what to life is flipping short. And you do not have time to live by a set of rules written by somebody else. The answers are here. The answers are also on YouTube and Google. <laughs> so just remember that. And that is it. I am done for today. I am signing out. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have a couple of videos right here. Uh, yes. Um, check that out. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Thanks for dropping in. Bye for now.